Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial series in Interactive Brokers or IBKR. So if you're new to trading stocks or options in IBKR, you'll most likely see that you're receiving market delay data for 15 minutes or less. That means the data is not live. You're seeing quotes from about 15 minutes ago. Anyway here, market is still closed and we're still seeing the last prices. So to get live data, live market data, you need to subscribe to market data which we are going to walk through in today's video. So in your IBKR account, go to the main icon on the top right next to help, then click settings. Then in your settings on the right side, click market data subscriptions. If you can't find market data subscriptions, it is under user settings. Here you see a list of your subscriptions in IBKR. Currently here, yours also should be the same. I fees way for these subscriptions, but these are on trader workstation. We want to have live data on the IBKR client portal, the web portal. So to change or add subscriptions, click the gear icon to configure. So again, currently these services like the US mutual funds, alternative European equities, US and EU bond quotes, and CME event contracts are complementary from IBKR. Then we scroll down to the next section. You are automatically subscribed to snapshot market data. Currently, delayed market data is free. To get live data, you can generate real-time quotes for any supported security on demand by clicking on the snapshot button in any trading platform. Snapshot quotes are charged per request. It will cost one cent per US equity snapshot and three cents for all other product snapshots. Now we don't want to pay per use, we want to go for the monthly streaming subscription. So scroll down some more to subscribe for GFIS real-time data and research. Services. So you see here, you can subscribe to different types of market data. There's code bundle, indexes, level 1 and 2, fixed income and others. So let's check out code bundle. You can subscribe to a code bundle. So we have here CBOE 1 add-on bundle, US equity and options add-on streaming bundle, US futures value bundle plus, and US security snapshot and futures value bundle. So since we want to get live market data for options trading, we can consider the US equity and options add-on streaming bundle. It includes streaming real-time quotes for NYSE, Amex, Nasdaq, and Oprah. In order to subscribe to US equity and options add-on streaming bundle, the user must already be subscribed to US security snapshot and future value bundle. So from the looks of it, looks like some of these bundles will need you to also be subscribed to a separate market data bundle in order to be eligible for any of the bundles. So instead of subscribing to only one bundle and costing X amount of dollars, you have to add on another bundle and that will ultimately cost more and your cost will go up just for market data subscription. Instead of paying maybe only $5 or $10 a month for the data, you may end up paying more or like $15 or more per month. Instead, what we can do is to subscribe to the individual data or products that we need. So for options trading specific data, the market data, scroll down to level 1 and BBO. Then we see here there are a list of market data. So for options trading data, scroll down and look for OPRA, O-P-R-A, US Options Exchange. This data provides option data from AMEX, ARCA, BATS, BOX, BSE, CBOE2, CBOE, ISE, NASDAQ, and PHLX. It costs one US dollar and fifty cents per month. Furthermore, the monthly fee will be waived whenever the monthly commission generated in the account reaches twenty dollars. So in this video, we're going to take this data. Then to show you all also, if you're also into trading stocks like SPY, SPY, or other stocks outside of the NYSE market and NASDAQ market, you can check this NYSE American Best ARCA, IEX, and Regional Exchange. Network B data. Then, if you're also into trading stocks like NYSE and NASDAQ like Microsoft and Tesla, you can also check the NYSE Network A or CTA and Network B and NASDAQ Network C or UTP. In this video, we're going to check them also. So, that's a total of four market data. Then, once you're done, scroll down to continue to review your market data subscription. Then, continue to some questionnaires from IBKR. Here, it is a non professional questionnaire. So as we see here, you are asked questions on whether you are a qualified professional securities or futures trader, whether you act in a capacity for any individual or entity, whether it's for commercial or business purposes, and distributes, republish, or provide data to any other party. After you've answered all these questions, sign and then continue to sign another document. This is the Securities Market Data Agreement document, then continue. Then finally, 
your market data subscription has been confirmed. So in your market data subscription page, you can see the list of newly subscribed market data in your account in IPKR. So then when you trade options in your options trading page, you won't see the delayed market data information. Now you'll be seeing live options data and stocks data. So that's about it in Interactive Brokers. If you learn and like something from today's video, hit the like button below. If you want to stick around for more, so you can also hit the subscribe button below to stay updated and notified on future videos and tutorials in this IBKR series. Or maybe you'd like to learn more about investing, finance and real estate and also home and living products as well. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.